Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own drywall or sheetrock picture hooks. Now these hooks are available commercially uh, by a bunch of different manufacturers and in slight variations of size and design, uh, but they all basically function the same. There's a hook that uh, sticks out of the sheetrock um, to hold the picture, and the long end has a slightly sharp edge, and you just twist it through the sheetrock, and the length of that tab in the curvature allows it to secure it in place on the back of the sheetrock, as illustrated here. The only problem with these commercially available hooks is that whenever I'm hanging a picture, I just don't seem to have one or can't find them. Uh, what I did have was some multi-purpose wire. This is a 14 gauge, uh, so it's fairly stiff and I decided to just make up a few of my own. Uh, this is a project that really just takes a, a minute. Uh, very, very simple, very easy to make. Uh, I just need a pair of needle nose pliers. I sketched out uh, the basic design. You just have to have a hook. Um, it it kind of, you can just follow the picture. I mean, the hook um, comes upward slightly just to hold the picture, and then it's just really an arc, um, a curve that curves around and back up. Um, you really just need to be able to twist this thing through the sheetrock and then slide it through. Um, so you can't have a real sharp bend after the hook. It has to be kind of a gradual curve. And I basically just sketched out the, the approximate thickness of the sheetrock. The sheetrock is usually either half inch or three quarters. Um, and then the hook in a slightly darker uh, magic marker. And this way I can just follow that design. I cut off the end of this hook. I am doing it at a slight angle. Uh, these pliers are a little bit dull, or, or maybe I'm just a little bit weak. Uh, no, but if you cut it at a slight angle, you do end up uh, with a little bit of a sharp edge, and, and that makes it easier uh, to, to bore a hole uh, through the drywall or through the sheet rock. Right, so there's the, the picture of what I wanted to make and one of the finished products. And I'll just show you how this works just on this piece of cardboard. So basically you want to twist and push through the sheetrock and then the hook protrudes from one end, flip it over, you'll see that with weight on it, especially the back end will press against the, the, uh, the sheetrock and that will kind of hold it firmly in place. I'll show you one more time. You see how fast this is. So it's really just a, a bend up for the hook. Grab with the pliers on the inside of that hook and bend down. That's the whole bottom. And now you're just going to curve up. So that it will, it will secure it in place to the back of the sheet rock. <clears throat> I made a half a dozen of these in, in five minutes. And the 14 gauge wire seemed to work pretty well. You could probably go with a little bit thinner uh, if you wanted to. It just happened to be what I had in my garage, but um, I, I think if I was going to buy it, I would probably go with the 14. That's the, the second one finished. So again, twist that goes through the sheetrock. The hook remains on one side of the wall on the back side it's secured with that loop. And this is the insertion. You puncture, twist, push. Very, very simple. One more look at how it's secured on the back and then we'll put them to use. Find your spot. Depending on the length that you made it, just make sure that the, uh, the hook end doesn't scratch your sheetrock while you're twisting. It really is as simple as that. One more time, gonna find another spot. Twist to puncture through the sheetrock or drywall. Once it's through, it does slide through pretty easily. That's where that curvature comes into play.
perfect for hanging your pictures or crafts. A very easy, do-it-yourself, simple project, um, especially when you can't find the store-bought ones. Now, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.